welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. We are doing a super fun video today. We are going to do a get ready with me. I'm gonna show you the makeup I use. We're gonna do a really natural look today. We're not even putting on eyeshadow. We're just gonna do some liner and some very natural lashes. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite go-to beauty products. I get a ton of questions on the makeup and skincare and lashes that I use. So I thought what better time than to do a get ready with me to share those with you. I'm also going to be answering some questions. I posted both on my Facebook group and my YouTube community tab. What questions do you want me to answer in regards to weight loss, WW, beauty, my channel, whatever, my personal life, I'm here to give you all of the answers to all of your questions. I also posted on my Instagram. So I have quite the list of questions and I thought that it would be way more fun to do a get ready with me while I answer these questions than just sitting here and giving you the answers. So we are gonna start putting on some makeup and start answering all of your questions. with the beauty counter an instant glow I really really love this I do have a mirror here with some lighting so if I look away it's just because I'm going and putting on my makeup here in the mirror I love this because it literally gives you a glow to your skin but what's even better is you still see that glow through all of your makeup and right now beauty counter has a glow getter trio where you actually get this illuminating glow for your face you also get my very favorite overnight resurfacing peel i'll pop a picture in here of that and you get the highlighter aka the blush that i'm going to be using today you get that all in a package and it is a fantastic deal so i will just put this over my entire face oh and i'll link everything down below for you guys as far as the products that i'm using and i just kind of rub it in and i let it go ahead and dry just a little bit and so let's answer some questions while we're waiting oh and i do have a cup of the coffee over cardio coffee you guys know i love this coffee it's my favorite this is the texas toast it's amazing i'll link it down below too so let's answer the first question. So some of them are just very basic questions about me and I thought they'd be a good segue into this Q and A. So how old am I? I am 44 years old. I will be 45 in November. A lot of you, bless your hearts, think I'm in my thirties, which is really, really sweet, but no, I'm 44. I am married. That's another question that I got. Are you married? Do you have children? I am married to my husband, Troy. We will be married three years in November. We've been together five years as of September. So about five and a half years by the time that our third year anniversary comes around for us being together. You also asked how we met. We actually met online on match.com. We went to high school together, but my husband is two years older than me. So I actually didn't even know him in high school. So I remember looking back at his senior picture in his yearbook and I thought, I, I remember him. Like he looks really familiar, but we didn't run in the same circle. I didn't even know him in high school. So we actually met online and the rest is history. And the other question is kids. We do not have kids. We have two dogs, as you know, Diesel and Lola, our babies. Diesel is eight and a half years old. He's a full breed yellow lab. He's amazing. And Lola is our rescue. She is a pit bull mix. We're not actually even sure what she's mixed with. We don't know entirely how old she is, but we think she's probably about seven. We're guessing she's about a year younger than Diesel and they're our life. They're our babies. I love them with every piece of my heart and literally we treat them like our children, as you know, if you watch my channel. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation. I really like this foundation from Too Faced. I'm in the color Porcelain. It does come in the little pump. So I usually will just pump about three pumps here onto my hand. And then I do use my Beauty Blender. These are just cheapy ones from Fred Meyer to go ahead and apply my foundation. And while I'm doing that, we're gonna talk a little bit about a couple other basic questions. One of them is where do we live? What state are we in? So we live in the state of Washington. We are not in Seattle. We are on the completely other side of the state in Spokane. We love it here. I actually was not born here. I was born in Grand Forks, North Dakota, but we moved here when I was about, well, 
I was going into the fifth grade. So I was really young when we moved here and we've been here ever since. And I am an only child, so is my husband. My husband's sister actually passed away when she was 12 years old from spina bifida. So my husband has been an only child since he was 18 years old as well. So we live in the beautiful state of Washington. So next I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. I usually just stick that under both of my eyes. And then I'll also usually put a little down my nose and on my upper lip. And I just go in with my same beauty blender to blend that. Last question as far as like personal about me is what do I do for a living? So if you followed my channel for a while, you know my background is actually in human resources. I was an HR manager for several, several years. And back in June of 2019, crazy it's gonna be a year next month, I actually resigned from my human resources position because I was not happy at all and I decided to really focus on my YouTube channel and also get my real estate license. So since then, I have gotten my real estate license. I've had it since August of 2019. It's going really well, I'm loving it. So essentially, I'm a full-time YouTuber and a real estate agent. So. I wear a couple of different hats, and to be honest with you guys, I love YouTube. I wish I could afford to do it full time, but I'm just not quite there yet. And that kind of brings me into my next question, which was actually asked on Instagram. And that was, you guys asked me, how can you support me on my YouTube channel and help my YouTube channel grow? So really, simple for you guys to be able to help me, which first of all, I greatly appreciate you even asking um about helping me so there's a few things number one you can obviously view my video so the more views we get the more that youtube pays us as far as our ads and adsense go also if you watch my videos to the end it really helps my watch time which then helps the cpm which is the amount that we're paid per ad it's a very complex situation but if you watch videos all the way to the end that really helps also if you actually watch through the commercials or the ads that's a lot more help than skipping through the ads and all of the interaction that you give on the channel thumbs up leaving comments sharing the video all of those things really really help and another way that you can really help support me on YouTube and maybe I can do YouTube eventually full-time is to support me in my affiliate links and I do have a few you know the built bars of the world where when you make a purchase it doesn't cost you any more money but I receive a little bit of a kickback so to speak I mean we're talking very minimal like less than a cup of coffee but it still really helps grow my brand helps grow my youtube channel and helps income wise so those are really the big ways that you can help me out as far as supporting my youtube channel so thank you for a couple of you that asked about that that really truly means a lot to me so now i'm gonna go ahead and put on my powder i'm just using the l'oreal true match and I just start with the sponge that actually comes in the powder to get a good base on. And then I'll go in with a brush to kind of blend it out. You guys, I'm not picky on powder. I pretty much use whatever I can get my hands on at the store. So if something's on sale or I have a coupon, that's really the route that I'll take as far as powders go. I'm really not picky. Um, I'm not someone that feels like I need to spend a lot of money on powder. I feel like they all pretty much are the same. So for me, this works just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that and then I'm gonna come back in with this Too Faced Heavenly Skin brush and I'm just going to blend out my powder. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna answer the next question and that is, Will you ever completely switch to the purple plan? So you guys know that I just recently posted my what I eat in a week trying out the purple plan. I'll make sure that I link that video down below for you guys, but I tried it for an entire week. And like I kind of also mentioned when I transitioned over to a clean approach to the program, that ultimately my goal was the purple plan. Once I was able to get, ooh, look at my makeup on me. Once I was able to get my portions under control and really feel confident in being able to handle the purple plan that was eventually my end goal so i tried it for that week in that video i'm doing it also again this week just to give it another extra two week good try and see how it goes so eventually that's my plan i don't know when that will be i don't even know if that will be but I ideally that is the plan that i would like to land on to finish out the rest of my ww journey 
So the next question is, what are your go-to lashes? And this is perfect timing for me to share these with you. And that are the Tori Bell lashes. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. These are magnetic lashes, but they're not just your everyday magnetic lashes. These are so much more. They are seriously the best I've ever, ever tried. And I am a lash snob. So these are fantastic. So I'm going to start with the mascara liner combo with the mascara. And I'm just going to go in very lightly, just basically on the base of my lashes. I'm not trying to get any length. I'm literally just trying to add the mascara to the base of my lashes to help the lashes, the magnetic lashes stick. So I've got just a little bit of mascara and then I'm gonna go into the other side which is the actual liner and I'm going to put this as close to my lashes as possible because I want my magnetic lashes to stick really well to the liner and what's fantastic about this liner is you can totally screw it up and you won't even be able to see it once you apply your lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have a nice amount of liner on. When you're using this liner, make sure that you're just going in and out directly. You're not moving the liner around the base to like wipe it off because it becomes clumpy and it will stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So back to the question about what are my go-to lashes. Tori Bell. Tori Bell lashes are awesome. I used to buy just your traditional glue on lashes on Amazon, but I know that a lot of you struggle with the glue bothering your eyes. Also, they can be really expensive because they don't last very long. And these lashes, if you take good care of them, can last up to 20 different uses, which is amazing. So I love them. I think they are top notch. So those are my go-tos. I'm gonna link the website to Tori Bell down below. There's cosmetics, there's everything on that website. So I have one coat of liner. We're all gonna go back in with a second coat, but we wanna give this a couple minutes to dry. So while it's drying, let's answer the next question. So what is my favorite makeup brand? So I'm not really picky, bougie about makeup. I do have a couple of favorite kind of higher end cosmetics that I'll be sharing with you guys uh, throughout this get ready with me video, but I am a little more picky on skincare because I am 44 years old. I'm concerned about aging, fine lines, wrinkles. So for me, the skincare is where I'd really rather spend a little bit of extra money and you guys know i'm obsessed with beauty counter it is a clean makeup they actually regulate what goes into the cosmetics and the skincare so it's safe for your face you you guys would be amazed at some of the materials that are in makeup because makeup isn't heavily regulated there are a lot of crazy things in the makeup that we're wearing and beauty counter is actually 100 percent clean so i have switched completely over to beauty counter skincare and I will switch to beauty counter cosmetics as soon as I'm out of what I have. I didn't want to waste the makeup that I have. So I'm going to kind of work on going through that before I make that transition. And of course I'll link beauty counter down below as well as the products from beauty counter that I showed you today. So moving on, let's do the next coat of liner just because it's been a couple of minutes. You always want to do two coats to really help those lashes stick a little bit better. So these are the lashes that I'm gonna use. These are the Tori Bell Fantasy Lashes. Now you actually do get two sets when you buy a few of the Tori Bell Lashes because you can do what's called stacking where you stack the two sets of lashes together to get a more dramatic look. For today though, I'm going on natural, so I'm just going to put on one set of the lashes. You guys, it's amazing. So you're gonna pop off your lashes really, really easy from the little piece of plastic. And then you're just going to go in and put these on. So I'm gonna just go ahead, pop my lash on, and voila, it is magnetized to my eye. It doesn't go anywhere. I have even tried this with a blow dryer to see if it would blow off, and it does not. So let me go ahead and get my other lash on, and we'll answer some more questions and carry on with our makeup. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with just some regular mascara and I'm gonna add that right to my bottom lashes. Now this, of course, is optional. I just really like the look of a little bit of mascara on the bottom as well, but look at these lashes, you guys. These things are amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that last little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. And the next question I have came also from Instagram and that is, is Jazzercise hard? Yes, 
it's hard. I still almost die, literally sometimes, and when I first started, it was rough, but let me tell you guys, it is the most incredible workout that doesn't feel like a workout. It is so much fun. You're dancing, you have great music, you have a great group of ladies around you. It really just makes exercise fun, and it flies by. You're, it's hard, you're out of breath, you're sweaty, but it's fun, so it doesn't really feel like exercise, if that makes sense. Highly recommend if you have a Jazzercise studio in your area, you can sometimes score a free week or a free class, and you can kind of see if it's something that you like, or there's Jazzercise on demand. I'll put that here on the screen, and it's like $20 a month, and you can do it out of your home. So I've been using that during the quarantine, but I can't wait to get back to the studio. All right, it's time to do my brows. I love the easy breezy brow. Actually, Tori Bell has a brow kit. Mine is on the way. And by the time you guys see this video, I'll have it. So I'm gonna put it here on the screen, my thoughts. But it is an actual like pot with a brush and you can shape your brow. It even comes with stencils. So I'm really excited to try it. It'll be my new go-to if I like it. But for now, I'm using this CoverGirl. And basically, this is like a brow mascara. So it goes on very similar to mascara. Oh, my brows, you guys. Hashtag quarantine brows. These things need a wax. But I'm going to go ahead and go in. And the next question is off of my Instagram. And that is, do I use my weeklies and my fit points? So the short answer is, yes, I use my weeklies every single week. But no, I do not use my fit points. At least I don't track the use of my fit points. So... I do use my weeklies. You guys know that Saturday is the day that I go out, that I enjoy a dinner out, and I use my weeklies. I actually don't even track that day. So I'm assuming I'm using all my weeklies and my dailies. I do not dip into my fit points just because I use my weeklies. Uh, I don't necessarily need to dip into my fit points. Now, that's not saying that if I was extra hungry on a day that I'm really working out, that I wouldn't use my fit points because I probably would. But I think the weeklies are there to be used. It may make your weight loss a little bit slower, but this isn't a race. This is a journey. This is a lifestyle. I know for me, I want to go out to eat once a week. I want to have my favorite food, whether that be a hamburger and fries or pizza. And by eating my weeklies from the get-go, even if it slows my weight loss, it's more of a lifestyle and more sustainable for me. So I absolutely use my weeklies. <laughs> So next I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Hoola Beauty Bronzer. I love this, the color, I don't know. I don't know what color this is. But anyways, it's just the Hoola Beauty, just matte bronzer. What I like to do with this, oh and this is my benefit, is I always put it up here on my forehead, kind of around my hairline, and then I drag it around my jawline as well. And that just kind of helps define your jawline a little bit. And then I pull it in all over my face to add that little bit of bronze, that little bit of glow. So the next question is, do you have a website? In fact, I do. I actually just started my website a couple of months ago. It's here on the screen. It's jenswjourney.com. This is where you guys will always find my recipes. I no longer link recipes in the description box because I have my website. I just automatically put the recipes on my website. So definitely check that out. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I actually use as a highlighter. Stuff smells so good like coconut. And I'm going to start here on my cheek bone and just bring that in. Can you guys see that? It's just so incredibly pretty. And then I will just drag my brush about halfway to my eyebrow and down. And then I go right down my t-zone as well and you can just see that glow so the next question is where can i find your discount code so my discount codes are always linked in the description box of every single one of my videos it is also on my website the actual updated version of all the links discount codes affiliate links non-affiliate links everything i can save you money on and my favorite things are always linked in the description box they're on my website and they are also on my Facebook group. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, come on over and join us. We'd love to have you over there. We have 15,000 amazing supportive members. It's just a great place to be to ask questions and get that extra support. So 
I'm gonna go in with my Hikari Radiate. I just love this stuff. It's kind of a mixture of a bronzer and a highlighter and a blush kind of all in one. So I usually will use kind of my angled brush here and I'll go in right below my cheekbone and it serves essentially as my blush. But again, it also gives that little bit of highlighter and that little bit of bronzer and then I just kind of bring it across Again, kind of my T-zone area, and it just really gives that pretty glow. So now I'm on to my community tab on YouTube to answer the questions. The first one is, this is from Erin Hanks, and she says, what's the best thing you've noticed about the way you feel since starting the clean approach? Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so, so many. I actually went into detail. I did a one month review of my clean approach. I'll link that video down below for you guys. But hands down, the energy that I have. I have so much more energy. I feel better. I don't have stomach issues anymore. You guys know I had a lot of stomach issues prior to the clean eating. My skin, just everything has just become so much better since I started the clean approach to WW. I'm really enjoying my foods. I'm much more satiated and full. I have a lot less cravings. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Of course, these benefits are gonna vary from person to person, but you guys, I am so grateful that I made this transition. So next, I go ahead and take my Beauty Counter Cream Highlighter and I put this where I smile. So basically, I'll smile. <laughs> it's like a fake hee hee. And I'll put that right on the balls of my cheeks. And then I just take my finger and kind of blend it out. Super, super simple. But again, you get that nice glow, gives you that pink of the apple of your cheek. So next question again from my community tab, I just have my phone here on YouTube, is from Veronica. And she says, has our current situation made you feel like you can do this without meetings when this is over or will you be ready to get back to them? Hands down, I'm ready to get back to my workshop. To be honest, you guys, I haven't missed a single virtual workshop since the quarantine started. It is my way to stay connected to my leader, to all of my friends at my WW workshop. And I enjoy the virtual workshops. It's just not the same as being in person. I miss actually physically seeing my friends and my coach. I wanna hug all my friends. So I am absolutely heading back to the workshops as soon as I can. But in the meantime, I'm thankful that WW has given us the virtual workshops as kind of a fill-in during the quarantine. So last for my eyes, I use the Kylie Jenner Santorini. Look at this, this is a like a highlighter, but holy moly, this is some bright highlighter. I literally, you guys, pull it right off of the lid. So I'll take my brush and I'll just kind of dab in the lid. And then this just goes right here in the corner of my eye. And it just really kind of brightens it up, especially when I'm not wearing any type of eye makeup. It just really kind of brightens my eye, makes my eye look big. And pretty I really like it now you could use it as a highlighter on your brow bone as well if you're putting on shadow this stuff is pretty awesome so this is one of the more expensive products but this jar has I've already had this a year and I haven't even used even an eighth of it it'll last forever and ever next question comes from Kaylee and she says what is the first thing you're going to do when the COVID crisis is no longer prevalent oh what aren't I going to do okay I'm going to Hobby Lobby Hands down, that is one of the first things that I'm gonna be doing because I wanted to buy some new home decor. So Hobby Lobby is on my radar. I'm going to go back to Jazzercise, my WW workshops. I can't wait to just get out. Oh, and camping. We already had our very first ca camping weekend canceled due to the virus. So we're hoping that we can go in June. Of course, I'll vlog it for you guys, but just get out and get back to life. That's what I'm most excited about. And let's do another question. So the next question comes from Dorinda, and she says, since starting your clean approach, have you had days where you crave not so healthy options? Yeah. Absolutely. There are days that I want sugar and all the things, especially when it's my cycle or the starting or leading up to my cycle. And I have them. I just have a cleaner version of them. So I will have a dessert, but it's going to be as clean of a dessert as I can find. You guys know I've made a lot of sweet item substitutions. So I'll just have one of those in place of what I used to have as far as sweet cravings. I'm gonna do a pretty bold lip today because I don't have any eye makeup on literally other than a little liner and lashes. So I'm using the Beauty Counter and I love their cosmetics. They smell like mint and they have like this minty vibe on your lips. 
Love them. This is the Fuchsia is Clean, and this is a bold lip, my friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that. And I do not use lip liner. I just go in and do the best that I can to trace my lips. So let's get that on. All right, so there it is. I love this color. It's one of my favorites. And I think that when you're not going heavy on the eye, you can go a little heavier on the lip. If you're going heavy on the eye, you wanna go a little less heavy on the lip. I love Beauty Counter. You guys have to pick up some of their lipsticks. The mintiness feels so good on your lips. So before we do our final makeup step, which is our finishing spray, let's answer a few more questions. So Monica asks, I love craft beer and I know you do too. Do you still partake? And if so, how are you fitting this into your clean approach? So as you guys know, on Saturdays, I use my weekly. So that is when I would have a craft beer or a beer. That is when I have all of the food that I normally don't have the rest of the week. So I still have craft beer, but I'm a one beer kind of girl. So I don't even worry about the points. And again, I do just generally have that on the day that I don't track or use my weeklies. Now, if I wanna have a beer during the week, I just track it. I just track the points for it. So yep, I still partake. Next question is from My Fit Life. How much weight have you lost since starting your journey? So actually, as of right now, I'm just over 30 pounds. Most of that was lost so far in 2020. Well, not most of it, but about 10 pounds of it. 2019 was not my year for weight loss. I think overall, I lost 20 pounds in the year of 2019. So it's better than nothing. It's better than gaining 20 pounds, but I'm doing really well in 2020, especially since my clean approach, it's made a world of difference. So that's kind of where I am. Next is Katrina, and she says, what are your top five makeup products? I kind of shared that with you guys already. Beauty Counter, as far as skincare goes, and cosmetics, especially the this uh, highlighter stick and their lip colors. Tori Bell for lashes. Tori Bell also has some amazing eyeshadow palettes. And I do like Too Faced when it comes to foundation as well as finishing spray, and I'll show you that finishing spray. So one more question before we do that is from Kaylee, and she says, any recommendations on volume eating recipes. So she's basically asking, I had to clarify with her, how do I get the most food for my points? So in order to do that, you guys bulk your recipes up with veggies. Veggies are zero smart points. Bulk them up with zero point proteins, with zero point fruits. Bulk your veggies or bulk your meals up with zero point foods. That's how you're going to get the biggest bang for your points buck. Have a higher point protein or a higher point side and bulk the rest of that meal up for volume with zero point foods. So to finish out my makeup, I'm gonna be using the Fresh Glow Setting Spray from Too Faced. I love this. You just give it a spray and it just comes out like this really, really fine mist. Give it a quick fan and voila, we have a very basic natural makeup look for today. So before I give you a close up, I will have a couple more questions I wanna answer. It looks like two more. The next one is from Yolanda and she says, I may have not, I may not be completely caught up, but I've done Weight Watchers in the past. I now do eye track bites for free on a cell phone app. Have you ever tried it in the past? And also, what are your struggles and how you get past them as far as overeating in the evening? So yes, I did track, I did try eye track bites at one point. For me, I'm not a fan of the app. I find it not very user friendly and I also find it not very accurate. I find that a lot of the points are incorrect on the Eye Track Bites app. And to be honest, for me, I'm a Weight Watchers girl. I don't mind paying the monthly fee for Weight Watchers, especially because I enjoy the app. I find it to be more accurate, not 100%, but more accurate. And I, you guys know I love my workshop. So I don't see myself going back to Eye Track Bites. So that's that. And also she says, how do I get past overeating in the evening? One simple thing, I cut myself off from food one hour past dinner. We are early dinner eaters, usually between five and 6 p.m. Because if you didn't know, my husband starts work at 3.30 in the morning twice a week. So we are in bed generally, me, every night of the week, just saying, by eight o'clock, 8.30. So I cut myself off around, it's between 6.30 and seven. I sleep better if I don't eat before I go to bed. And if I'm feeling snacky or hungry, my go-to 100% is to make a cup of hot flavor tea. Zero points. I'm still drinking something that has a flavor. So I feel like I'm getting some, some food, I'm getting some flavor, and it's zero points. So that's what I do if I'm feeling cravy and snacky in the evening. And 
And the last question on my community tab of YouTube is from Janae. And she says, any tips for someone who seems to be at a plateau? And then she talks about how she's switched up programs. She's tried switching up her exercise. Those were actually going to be a couple of my tips. So number one, try switching up your program. Switch from blue to green or green to purple. Also try switching up your foods. If you're someone that eats the same food all the time, that actually can cause you to go to a bit of a plateau. So try changing up your food. Also, if you don't use your weeklies, use them. Sometimes your body needs that little bit of extra calories and food to jump start it once again. Lastly is exercise. If you're doing the same exercise, try switching that up as well. Make your body guess, make your body guess and second guess what you're doing with food and with activity. And a lot of times that will automatically break a plateau. All right, guys. So that is this quick, easy, natural, get ready with me. Make sure you check out the description box for the links for all of these products, the eyelashes, Too Faced, all the things, especially the beauty counter will be down in the description box below, as well as the videos I talked about today. Here's another quick look at my makeup. So you can see that pretty glow of the highlighter, how absolutely natural these lashes are. They're really, truly amazing. Amazing. This is a 10 minute makeup look for me when I'm not filming. So really quick, easy to get out the door, but looks like you spent hours getting ready. I get that question a lot. Oh my gosh, it must take you hours. I'm a 10 to 15 minutes for makeup. And this is just a really natural, but put together look. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments for me. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd stick around, make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. We'd love to have you be part of our community. Give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this Q and A and this little bit of a makeup tutorial. And of course, comments, questions down below. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Uh -huh.